Pollution is a problem that affects all of us, whether we live in the city or the country. And more than ever these days, people want to know that folks involved in agriculture are doing their part. In Michigan, there's a program available to farmers and ranchers that helps them meet environmental standards. The DeYoung's Michigan dairy farm is growing. Ten years ago, Boss DeYoung and his wife Laura had 150 cows. Present day today, we're milking 1,800 cows. Considerably larger than the average Midwest dairy of a few hundred cows. A high-tech rotary milker keeps things moving here at Hickory Gables Farm. It's a necessity for an operation of this size. Like many farms these days, getting bigger is part of this family's plan for staying successful in the slim margin dairy industry. You know what, bigger was not really what I needed. I just wanted to take care of my animals. And uh, you know, one thing leads to the next. And taking care of your animals, I guess there's blessings involved when you have that. And um, you can't really stop blessings. And um, when you're bursting out of the seams, you gotta make provisions. So uh, that's how we came, we arrived to 1,800 cows. Is that a magic number? No, and who knows where the end in sight is? I don't know either. I feel good today and I haven't stopped. It's a way of life. It is a lot of work and we have a motto. It's ora labora, uh, pray and work. Um, I think that does get us through the day, but it's also very rewarding. But increasing in size also means larger concern among neighbors about some of the aspects of a dairy like his. And the biggest concern is what comes out of the cows after they eat. Well, with a cow, with manure, you can't plug them up. And uh, so it's an everyday deal. And you can't run away from it. you got to face it. And that means a giant lagoon filled with cow manure. But lagoons like these on other Michigan farms have caused problems in the past, overflowing during storms and polluting waterways. Boss is confident in the design and safety of his lagoon, but admits the sheer scale of a farm this size can be scary for neighbors. So is there a fear among the public? Yes, and rightfully so because of the bad players. But there's too many good players to downplay, to downplay it. A state program called the Michigan Agriculture Environmental Assurance Program, or MEEP, is designed to help farming operations like Hickory Gables meet environmental standards. Things like making sure Boss has enough farm ground on which to spray manure from that lagoon and avoid the threat of runoff. To get to meat verification, it's a, it's a pretty rigorous process. Um, we're going to look under every rock, like we say, um, right from nutrient and pest management, to fuel storage, fertilizer storage, you know, the list goes on and on and on. All the things you might look at a farm and think of as a potential risk, we evaluate to a standard and, um, and work with growers to get them to that standard voluntarily and then recognize them when they get to that point. It's time consuming because you actually have to sit down and uh, go through the paperwork. It can be and it can be a good thing because you're learning and good things aren't always easy and um, good things are educational. So I think the MEAT program, it's, uh, it stretches you and it, it challenges you. The MEAT program is voluntary and includes participation from various agriculture, government and conservation organizations. Any agriculture business in the state can apply for certification. I've worked with farms that have taken four years and spent four million dollars. I've worked with farms that were already there. It depends on, on past practices, it depends on uh, how the facility was built, it depends on the type of facility. The program is built for every farm, every size, and every commodity in Michigan. Everybody has an opportunity to participate. It's really up to them. 1,000 Michigan farms have either been certified or are working to meet MEEP guidelines. The program points to reductions in soil erosion and phosphorus runoff as examples of ways that MEEP is improving water quality. People want to know um, where you've been and where you're going. And I think Meep tells me tells a story. They, have, they give you a sign, and I'm posting my story on the front on the roadside, and I'm sharing with people that I want to be environmentally stewardly. But does Meep go far enough? The Michigan Sierra Club would like to see the standards raised. Others would like to see the program become mandatory for Michigan farmers rather than voluntary. My belief: if you make somebody do something, they don't buy into the reasons why they're doing it, um, 
When I leave that farm, they're probably not gonna do it anymore. When I leave a meat verified farm that's done these things because they want to for the right reasons, those are the people we want representing this program. The reasons for Boss and his wife, Laura, are evident, the next generation. Youngsters already learning to care for their calves in the backyard. We're passing through, so we gotta leave a legacy behind. Uh, so you're trying to be a steward of what you do have uh, so that they can pick up the bags and uh, go forward rather than uh, cleaning up a mess.